Hello there, good morning. This is Josh Wright from racingtoprofit.co.uk. Thank you for checking out this video. I will try and keep it as brief as I can. The main aim is simply to introduce you to my blog um, and kind of what you can get hold of, how you can get stuck in, how you can get engaged, um, and yeah, how it may help your enjoyment of horse racing, which is what it's all about. Um, there's kind of two main thrusts I suppose there's a lot of the majority is a lot of free content um, and that will always be the case um, and I also have a members club as well which looks at mainly my trainer track profile stats pack which is made a hundred points profit in eight weeks which is a bit mad um, as I speak which is the 23rd of November 2016 um, but my aim isn't to kind of go over that if you want to find out more about the members club you can click the members club tab um, uh, at the top of the blog, the right hand side. Um, so yeah, where shall we start? The home page. Let me whiz through this because I don't want to take up too much of your time. All blog posts get filtered into this main home page. You can just simply scroll down uh, and the post will keep uploading at the bottom if you so wish. Newest posts always filter in at the top to the left hand side. Um, I try and make the titles as obvious as possible and try and keep them consistent. Um, when complete is in brackets underneath a blog post, you know that it is complete and there's no further content on its way. I will dive into the free daily posts now and just explain the two main bits to that. Um, these posts are always completed by 10 a.m. on the morning of racing at the very late, this Monday to Friday, uh, 11 a.m. at weekends. Um, that's mainly because sometimes I enjoy a lion. Uh, and yeah, they're completed by 10 a.m. I try and put some of the content or as much as I can the evening before racing as well. Um, so what are the two main bits of the free daily posts? Well, there are tips. I mainly focus on uh, handicap chases, the further the further the better. So three miles or further, two miles, seven furlongs or further. Um, these had a great, and I was had a great kind of last December 2015 through to uh, kind of the end of April 2016, I think my chase or jumps tips won around 170 points profit um, at a kind of mad ROI. Uh, my win strike rate has always kind of hovered about around 16 to 20 percent. Um, and kind of since May, it's the wheels have come off a bit, <laughs> and I've tried my best to give as much of that profit back as I can. Um, but we're still doing well for the year, uh, and I'll get onto the results tab in a minute. But there what you can find there they're not tips as in here's a horse uh, go and back it uh, I like to kind of think through my own reasoning uh, my own thoughts so with any tip for any three mile chase plus chase that I look at you can read why I like them why I don't like uh, or what I might be concerned about who I think the dangers may be why I don't like the others in the race the pace and the setup of the race and how I think it may be run um, any trainer notes etc um, so there's always something interesting to read with a tip um, even if they fall out the back of the TV and are still running an hour later um, which far too many have done <laughs> in recent weeks um, but we skip on from that quickly uh, the jumps angles um, this is the other main part um, I love trainer systems and micro angles and stats research um, so I do a lot of that and I'll come to that in a moment in the free reports and systems tab which is where you can always find the research behind any of the systems followed um, so yeah the the systems I'm following I post up the qualifiers for free daily um, they're posted normally the evening before the next day's racing you can well with any of the content really I would advise feeling your way in paper trading betting small stakes if you want to follow them you can follow the system systematically you can use them as a starting point in your own form analysis you can just ignore them or um, read some of the comments below which I'll get to in a moment which are always uh, as interesting if not more than my own content um, so yeah there's jumps angles uh, micro systems there and as we move into the flat season next year again there'll be a few snippets that we can follow um, they're the two main bits there's sometimes a stats uh, angles of interest section as well um, if I click on today's post as I record this um, the stats angles of interest where I may highlight they're not tips I may have just looked at the horse there may be a pace angle a chaser I think might be a front runner that may be able to lead all the way um, 
I'm starting to look at handicap hurdle debutants as well, horses that may get let in leniently and that may be worth following, um, and anything else kind of really of interest. So they're always there to read uh, and, again, use as you see fit. Um, what else have we got and do I want to highlight on the free daily posts? Um, the blog has a growing readership um, and there are most, if not all, the readers are very clued in rather shrewd and have their own ideas on the game. Some of those choose to post um, very interesting comments um, and if I just look at today's an example uh, Ian here has posted an uh, angle that he's been following for James Fanshawe on the All Weather, horses that finished second uh, last time out um, so that's there uh, again adding to our all our enjoyment really. Uh, Jerry is tracking Paddy Brennan and a few trainers that he now rides for um, especially since he kind of left his association with Tom George uh, so his little test there is kind of 11 well nearly 12 points up since he started I think last week if not the week before uh, what else could I highlight oh yes um, a chap called Steve uh, likes to focus on the all weather and especially sires and the breeding aspect um, and he's put some thoughts on here especially about Dundalk and uh, Warfront and how well his progeny do um, on the track and that's very interesting as well uh, especially those results there so that's something we can all track and look forward to um, there are other people that comment as there's a couple of guys who have links to certain uh, race yards and they'll put up horses if they've heard a good word um, and you know etc etc so all comments uh, thoughts questions criticism as long as it's polite and well informed uh, is welcome um, it's kind of a open community where you should feel uh, like it is a place where you can um, speak up and say what you think which is the idea um, so that's that if I go through the read first I won't focus on that this video can be found in the about the blog tab there's a more about me if you wish to read that my background how I got into racing etc etc um, then there's a the results tab uh, everything I'm very open and honest with all content um, and everything really uh, especially the results which is quite important so you can always find updates on results for how the free tips have been doing um, they are in here and that includes a link to a uh, kind of spreadsheet PDF where you can see every tip and track the profit and loss um, which can help you decide whether uh, they should be avoided or followed at times um, uh, what else have we got yep yeah, that also includes uh, updates on the free systems that are posted in the free daily posts um, so again you can see how well they're doing month to month um, all of that in designed really to help you decide how you wish to engage with the content um, there's the trainer track profile results roundup uh, that's uh, my main stats pack that I research for each jump season that's had a great start it's nearly a hundred points up um, within two months there um, but like I said the focus isn't here um, to talk about that you can click the members club tab at the top to find out how to get that guide and learn more about the members club if you so wish uh, the other main part free reports and systems here's where kind of other content goes that you may find interesting if I just flick through some of the recent content I went to Haydock on Betfair Chase Day 2016 um, uh, last Saturday as I as I record this video um, that's a video review of who I thought looked fit who was agitating through their race away before the race um, and some other thoughts as well uh, so you can give that a watch in your own time if you wish get the uh, kettle on and the notepad at the ready uh, there's a free trainer track profiles winter or weather there's a free stats pack there and then information about how you can ba buy the main guide um, if you like your all weather stats that's had quite a good start to the year also uh, the research behind the Venetia Williams angle we're following on the blog another video review the jump systems all the jump systems being followed on the free daily posts you can find the research to those within this uh, blog post here there's a couple, well there's a few guest posts you can flick through actually, there's one from Ben Aitken looking at trends horses from narrowing the field, um, there's one from Paul Ferguson jumpers to follow, if you flick through a few more pages, uh, Gary Priestley, the top Twitter tipper, um, phenomenal amount of profit and he really does know how to find a big price horse, uh, he wrote a guest post for me um, during the flat season and that's an interesting read, so you can flick through that. Um, what else have we got? Yeah, there's various stuff there. I don't need to focus on that. You can flick through that in your own time. What else should I say? Um, well, if you stay around for long enough and 
any of the content uh, helps you uh, win any money and you think the blog might be worth donating to you can click the donate button there um, which is always gratefully received uh, and I won't need to dwell on that that's quite self-explanatory um, there's some adverts down the side I'm very very picky on what I tell you about in terms of other people's services and what other products and other people I think you should trust and things that you may want to try. Um, so there's Gigi's Gold here. Um, I know Matt, the guy behind that quite well, and he actually mentored me um, when I was kind of getting started in this game. If you want a set of tools to help you um, bet on the horses, to help you find your own horses, if you like stats and all kinds of things, um, he has the best race cards in the game. I don't think you'll ever want to look at the racing post again, really, if you um, decide to give that a trial. But you can try for 30 days for one pound. Uh, you don't need to take my word for it. You can see what that's all about there. Could be the best one pound you've ever spent. Um, there's, if you prefer more on the tipping front, uh, Dr. Nick Hardman is possibly one of the best, if not the best, big race tipster around. Um, his festival tip service has made 480 odd points, I think, in 2016 to date, as I talk, which is kind of two thirds of the way through November. Um, uh, and has made 50 points since September the 6th, which is when I first emailed my list actually and told them some of them may wish to check out that service. So there's that to look at. And then there's Nicky Doyle of Bet Alchemist. He's been, service has been going for six, seven years now. Um, has been consistently profitable over time. Does have the odd dip, as all tipping services do. Um, but again, he seems to have been had a, another good year. And the members generally seem to be happy. But you can try that out. His service is sold through ClickBank, which I really enjoy. Because ClickBank means you get 60 days to try anything uh, risk-free and you can get your money back at the end which means you don't have to risk a penny you can paper trade and see if these services are any good and suit your style um, so I think that's it really I'll leave it there um, I think I've whizzed through everything that I want to uh, hopefully um, as with everything on the blog the main aim is to provide something of interest something at times entertaining I hope um, but there's always something to get stuck into with the sole purpose of making your enjoyment of horse racing uh, that much better I should say your experience of horse racing that much more enjoyable um, and with any luck more profitable and you will always be able to see um, from the results etc if that is the case um, I pride myself on my honesty and integrity um, I'm always open to any questions uh, polite criticism on the blog um, and any other comments really so uh, hopefully you stick around, hopefully you like what you find um, and you uh, yeah, enjoy the ride really. I will leave it there really and just say um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching um, and until the next time this is Josh saying bye for now.